Okay. I see someone's hurt out here in this equation. You could have been loving someone a lot. You could have offered your compassion, your feelings, unconditional love, but someone hurt you. Could be because of a commitment. You have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So you're being emotionally unavailable to someone or this is just a situation where usually you'd have a very emotional approach towards this and you'd just like be like out there for this person. But this time you're not, you're keeping it very logical. More than logical, I feel you're cutting the cords, okay? You're cutting the emotional cords and you're moving away from the emotional part, okay? Because you could have been very, very, uh, you could have held on to this relationship for a very long time. It's almost like a relationship which you once deemed to be very, very valuable and something that gave you a lot of security, something you closed, uh, something you held on to very close to your chest. You're releasing it, okay? You're letting go of something. You're behaving very detached this time. You're detaching yourself from something, okay? Why? Because with the Nine of Pentacles here, you realize your self-worth, your value, you realize you deserve better and um, yeah, you realize your self-worth. Like again, I said, right? You realize that you are okay on your own and you're just not being clingy and needy anymore. It's like what is meant for me is not going to pass me by is what I'm hearing. In the past, you could have released yourself from a relationship or from a person that you felt very tight, bound and restricted to. Almost like a relationship where you fought, where you thought that, you know what, I can never get rid of this person or I can just never get out of this situation. A very sticky situation, okay? But you finally did. You finally gathered the courage and you cut yourself off that and um, you release yourself of any expectations that you have from this relationship, all right? I'm hearing release yourself of the expectations. Coming to the current moment, we have the five of pentacles. So either there has been a separation or you guys are just feeling very, very lonely, okay? Because someone out here in this equation has made a decision to probably detach. Again, I'm hearing detach, okay? Detach from a situation or detach from a person, okay? You're feeling lonely, left out. This person misses you and um, you're giving someone the cold shoulders, I'm hearing, okay? And with the two of wands in reverse here, it's almost like uh, you're holding off a decision, okay? You're holding off a decision. Give me one more card from two of points in reverse. Why is the two of points in reverse? Give me one more card. Yep, you're holding back from a decision um, to make a commitment. Or there's someone here who's feeling left out by you, okay? And they're holding back from making a decision on committing to you. I don't see this as someone who's making a decision yet. I feel there's someone indecisive here and it's almost like you are also not sure. You're choosing to stay away from this person because this person is not being able to offer you commitment, okay? But this person is either you've separated from this person and this person is wanting to make a decision, okay? But they're still, it's like, I feel they're holding off from making this decision because they're not sure. It's like almost they don't have enough information that they need to jump into this commitment or they just need some more time, okay? I feel they need more time before they take action towards this. But with the 10 of Pentacles here, it has definitely has to do something with the commitment, okay? So there has been a separation because there is a lack of commitment here, but could be that one person is definitely wanting to commit here, okay? They've made that decision and they want to come towards you. What is the Queen of Wands here on their mind on the person that you're dealing with? Why the Queen of Wands? So, you know what I'm getting with the strength in reverse, the death and the Queen of Wands. So, I'm feeling that you're in your power is what I'm getting, okay? You're on this person's mind and this person looks at you as someone very attractive, very, very sexually attractive. They feel you have a lot of suitors. You're this go-getter, okay? You got this go-for-it vibe. They're, um, they think you can do without them, okay? They know that you don't need them. With the strength in reverse here, maybe this person could have been holding back from you for a very long time, but now they're throwing their hands up in the air. They're not holding back from you anymore because they cannot. They're just so attracted to you, Pisces. The Queen of Wands is also Pisces, all right? But with the death here, I feel this person knows that you've ended things with them and they're ready to go through or they're going through a big huge transformation within themselves or your relationship is going through transformation okay and all this because they're very very attracted to you very attracted to you they can see that you've released yourself from any stress fear anxiety that you had with this person 
it's almost like a release okay you're not in an illusional mode anymore you don't see illusions anymore you see things very very clearly you see the reality okay and um it's uh like you're not feeling this connection it's like th if there is no growth if there is no commitment here then there is no growth okay there is no expansion here there's a lack of abundance here so yeah i'm just not going to nurture this connection anymore but you're in your power you're just being badass all right why does this person see you as the king of swords why do they view Pisces as the king of swords they see you as they're the king of swords they see you as someone who's not wanting to entertain any bullshit like the king of swords What I'm getting is that they see you as no more in that wishful thinking anymore. They don't, they, probably the Pisces, because you're a water sign, you tend to get into that dreamy world, okay? You tend to get that fairy tale and you tend to be in those illusions, like I said, right? They see you living in the reality for now with the seven of cups in reverse here. They feel that you see things for what they are. You've you have a reality check about things and with a page of cups here this person now wants to come towards you okay they want to come towards you either with an apology or they want to come and start opening up to you emotionally okay how they view with the king of swords and the death here that they view as someone i'm hearing someone who's giving this a very logical approach okay not really being cold and detached which is the king of swords in reverse but more like someone who's giving this again we had the queen of cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck and the king of swords almost the same energy just this that that's feminine and that's more masculine but i'm feeling that you're losing your logic your reasoning your uh, mind you're using only fact-based logic when you're approaching this person okay it's uh like when they approach you when they want to talk to you they can feel that vibe from you okay and with the death here they definitely feel that you've completely transformed yourself okay You've completely changed. I feel that more than them. I feel it's you who's changed and they can feel that wipes from you. Okay. Like Pisces is not the same emotional one. I mean, it's not going to be easy to trick Pisces this time, you know, because they have a damn logical approach to the situation. So it's like logic, you know, you'll just have to give me facts. If you want to talk to me is what Pisces says. Okay, what is in that deepest emotions with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Ten of Pentacles in reverse, why is this here? They're trying to be very, very strategic is what I'm hearing. We have the Nine of Swords and the King of Pentacles in reverse, Pisces. You're dealing with someone who's not going to be able to offer you a commitment as of now, okay? They feel that there is a lot of insecurity and instability within the situation, okay? That the situation as of now... They're not going to be able to offer you all this because, and that's stressing them out for sure. It's stressing them out a lot. They know they need to make a move. They know they need to do this. But what I'm hearing with the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? I feel you're dealing with someone. Yes, it is someone who's not committed. It is someone who doesn't play the long game. But this time here, I'm feeling this person is either trying to get that shit together or they're trying to gain their finances together. This person could be someone who's trying to... Uh, who's struggling financially and with the king of pentacles in reverse i feel this person is focused on anything but the relationship all right so i'm feeling that you could have got this person's energies all right maybe this this person definitely loves you i don't get something like this person doesn't love you because moving forward they want to move forward with you as the two of cups okay this person wants a relationship with you 100%. They want a relationship with you, Pisces. There's a lot of love here. This is your soulmate. But it's just that I feel for the time being, if you're wanting a commitment, if you're very stuck in your ways, I want a commitment and that's how I'm going to move forward. I think you're going to be a little disappointment. I feel this person is still focused on work, career, their goals. This person could be a very high goal achiever, okay? So they're very focused on something that they could be someone very materialistic at the real at, at the same time okay someone who doesn't really believe in um family they don't believe in long-term commitments they don't believe in family kids etc okay they're not really the traditional types although i haven't seen the hierophant here but that's what i'm sensing okay and i feel with the seven of swords here they're trying to either be very strategic about this okay they're not wanting to um or uh, they're just trying to um 
they try to withhold a lot of information. I'm not getting being ignored, trying to avoid or ignore. I'm getting someone being deceptive, but deceptive in a good way. As in like they're trying to withhold a lot of information. Maybe this person wants to come and tell you like, look, babe, I love you a lot. Or look, I love you a lot. Okay. But I'm just not being able to commit to you right now because I have my own goals to focus on. But I want this relationship with you. That's how they want to move forward with you. I love you. I want to be with you. But if when it comes to a commitment, that's something I cannot do at the moment. Pisces, right now I'm getting this person cannot do this at the moment right now, okay? So if you really love this person, then you'll have to let go of expectations is what I'm hearing. With the Knight of Swords here, this person wants to rush in, okay? They're rushing in. They want to talk to you. But at the same time, this person has this defense mechanism, okay? Every single time they want to open up, they don't know how much to open up. And maybe this person, the way they talk, you know, you'll always feel that there's something that they're hiding. But it's that's just how they are. They would... Even if they don't withhold information, it's more like they don't feel safe enough to be vulnerable and tell you everything, okay? But they're manifesting you with a magician. They're in full-blown manifestation mode, okay? This person really loves you a lot. But if you're wanting a commitment right now, right now, I don't think so. It's not possible right now. Because they're 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 experiencing a lot of instability with, within their situation, whether you know this or not. All right, why is the Four of Cups? Uh, why is the Four of Cups here as what you don't see coming? This is what's going on behind the scenes. Why is the Four of Cups here? Someone's fearing rejection. Okay, so what I'm getting is this person is trapped in their head. They're stuck in their head, okay? So it's almost like in the past, you released yourself from this entire situation. You're moving on. Really, more than move on, you release yourself from a situation where you thought, you know what, I'm never getting out of this, okay? Or it was just a lot of overthinking. They're into this now. With the six of with the eight of swords they are very stuck in their head it's almost like i feel this person cannot move they don't know which move to make which way to go okay what you don't see is with the four of cups and the two of pentacles in reverse if this person has fear of rejection that maybe you've been like trying to balance this person for a very long time or you're trying to balance the entire relationship for a very long time but with the two of pentacles in reverse here i think this person feels that you're going to drop them this person is very insecure and very very um almost paralyzed by fear that there are chances that you're going to drop this person okay if you it's like you're in your uh you're in your head right now do i want this do i not do i want this or not they're sensing this because of the king of swords okay you don't mean, you you mean business they know that and that's what they're fearing that's what they're fearing and that's why they have that fear of rejection they just it's like they want this relationship they want to tell you that if you guys have broken up they want to reconcile and if you guys are together they want this okay they want to be with they want to be in love with you they are in love with you but what their problem is that because they're not going to be able to offer this commitment to you you are probably going to be the one who's just going to be like you know what if i'm not getting what i want i'm out and that's what they fear that's their fear of rejection. Your advice is the seven of wands. Your advice is to stand your ground. Okay, your advice is to stand your ground. So maybe it's almost like, you know what, I need to clarify. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? Clarify the seven of wands. Your advice is the seven of wands and the three of swords. So your advice is to probably heal is what I'm getting, okay? Um, this person could have, um, you know, like, if you don't stand your ground is what I'm getting with your advice. Okay, you could be dealing with some, look, I, look at this energy difference, okay? We have the queen of cups and the knight of wands and the king of pentacles in divorce. What I'm getting is that you have always loved this person. You have a lot of compassion for this person. Your intuition is on point. You know they love you, all right, etc. But you're dealing with someone with the knight of wands and the king of pentacles in divorce. Again, okay, someone who's non-committal, someone whose focus has never been relationships, okay? Um... Their focus has been material gain, okay? They want the fastest, they want the best, etc. But their focus has never been long-term. Their focus has never been marriage or something traditional. And with the Knight of Wands, you could be dealing with someone who likes to live in the moment, okay? They like to take each day as it comes. And you're like, probably you're coming from um, a place where you want something. You, you want to get into a relationship where you probably know where you're getting or heading within the next five years. So that's what's contradicting between you guys, all right? 
So your advice is that stand your ground, Pisces, with the seven of wands. You need to defend yourself. You need to stand your ground. If that is what you want, stand by it. Stand by it, okay? I know in the beginning I did say a little bit with the advice card out here, it's almost like stand your ground. Don't, don't give up, okay? Don't just give in just because this person is coming in like, oh, I love you and I want this relationship, okay? If it's something that you feel is not what makes you happy, because with the three of swords, I feel you're going to land up with a broken heart if you again try and give this person another chance like oh let's just have this relationship let's go with the flow okay three of swords is again a breakup separation okay so i've got a lot of heartache because you're clearly dealing with someone who is not going to be able to commit to you right now okay so i'm just going to call it up Try for the eight of cups the likely outcome is walking away but let's see walking away from the person or walking away from the situation that doesn't make you happy why is the eight of cups here as the likely outcome for Pisces? So it's almost like there is going to be a situation where all of a sudden something's going to happen very, very unexpectedly, okay, with the tower here. I feel like there's going to be some clarity. You know what? I need one more card. Why is the ace of swords here? Why is the ace of swords here? All right, that looks good. Okay. So I feel you're going to walk away from a situation or walk away from the past, okay? So if you've been living in the past, Pisces, about a lot of situations that didn't make you happy or the Eight of Cups is any energies that are very low vibrational, okay? Anything that keeps you stuck in the past, okay? I feel you're walking away from anything and everything that keeps you stuck in the past or anything that doesn't make you happy, but I don't think you're walking away from this person just yet. With the Ace of Swords and Empress here, I feel you're going to get a breakthrough, okay? This person is going to come in and tell you that they want something very stable. They want to give birth to something new. They want to create something new with you. They see growth and expansion with you. They want to feed this connection. They want to nurture this connection. And with the Ace of Swords here, you're getting a breakthrough. This is victory. This is success, okay? This is this person coming in and clearing the air with you, all right? But I just feel with the Emperor in reverse here at the um, bottom of the deck, yes, you or them, one of you is going to be a little stubborn here, okay? Not a little, very stubborn. One person's a control freak out here. It's got to be my way or the highway. I'm going to give you the commitment when I want it to, not when you want it to. Or you're going to be like, I want the commitment. And if I don't get it, then there's nothing happening here. So that's going to be a little tug of war here. But that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. That'd be really cool. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.